Welcome to this new episode of the Quick Tip Tuesday. My name is Paul and today I'm going to show you how to go from a picture like this to this. For this shoot, I'm using two crappy LED panels, an Illum cube, and a Perspex for the diffusion, also known as polymethyl Here you can clearly see the difference using a diffuser and without. You can also use baking parchment paper or shower curtain from IKEA, starting from two bucks. Paul, where's the shower curtain? Move the diffuser closer to the bottle for a wider feathered line further away for a thinner, sharper one. Make sure you don't overexpose the highlight. If necessary, use a polarizer. Separate the bottle from the background by placing a light below the table, lighting the lower part of your image. You can also use a small spotlight, like a Loom Cube or Aperture MC, and hide it behind the bottle, directly on the table. If necessary, try to use your phone. Now we need to light the front of the bottle. I only want to light the letters, which is challenging, because there is no paper label, which means reflections. I use Loom Cube for this because of the concentrated beam angle. You can also use a normal desk lamp from IKEA, starting from $15, plus light bulb. If your beam angle is too wide, create a snoot. Use an empty kitchen towel roll, silver foil and gaffer tape. Create the snoot to concentrate the light even more. Place your light below the table, so that you don't get unwanted reflections and only light the middle part of the bottle. You can also use a piece of black paper or carton to control the light. If you feel that you got any good advice in this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, if you want to continue watching videos like this one. And I will see you in the next one.